Now that we have our snail extracted, I have added just a simple white background behind it. It's this layer right over here. I can turn it off and you can see that it's a transparent background now. I could really add any kind of background to it. Let's say I had a picture with a landscape view of France or some big city. That would be fun to just make it look like my snail is traveling and I would put that picture in. I'm going to go ahead and just let this white background represent your imagination. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some text and shapes to this. And one of the things that really helps is to use guides. So when it comes to using guides in Photoshop, one of the first things you want to do is make sure that your rulers are showing. You can see here on mine that I have a ruler up here at the top as well as one over here on the left. If you don't see your rulers, you'll want to click Command R. When I click Command R, it goes away, and now when I click it again, it will come back. So just do that if you don't see your rulers. I'm going to go up here to View, and I'm going to come down here to Snap To, and you can see I have the option to snap to my guides, layers, document bounds, and other things, or All. I'm just going to click All, but you can do it to Guides if you would like. Now, when I come over here and I hover over this side ruler on the left, I'm going to click and drag. You can see that basically when I come to the edge of my snell, it stops. And that's because it's snapping right there to that layer. You can almost feel it. It's really quite amazing how it works. I'm going to come up here to the top ruler and I'm going to drag down. And again, you can feel that it just snapped into place. Now I made a shape and I'm going to move that around and basically I'm just going to move it over here so it's left aligned with my snail. Now I like that it's not right up against the snail and so I'm going to actually move one more guide and I'm just going to snap it into place right there. And now let's add some text. I already put it in so I'm just going to reveal that layer and here we go, and you can see that it just snaps into place against the top of that guide. And now, if I want to hide those guides because I don't like seeing them, I can click Command colon, and it goes away. So that's just the Command colon buttons together, or I can bring them back. And that is how you work with the guides and the Snap2 guides.